I'd like to share with you um, the an excerpt from a conversation that I had with a young man who's about to get engaged and um, to his long-term girlfriend of seven years. And it is my hope that what I give to you is a blessing to you the way it was a help to him and has been a help to me in the past. Um, he said to me, Dr. Zeb, I'm getting ready to get engaged. This is what I want to do. What is the number one red flag I should have been looking for to just make sure I did not miss anything? Now, let me say this before I give you the flag. This message is for only two types of people. It's for whole people. And it's for people who are striving to become whole. That's very important because if you're not whole and you don't want to be whole, then a lot of what I'm about to say is probably not going to make a lot of sense to you. I said to him, the number one red flag you should look for is whether or not she is lazy. He said, huh? I said, yes. Is she lazy? He said, no, sir. I said, give me an example of a time she had to do something for the relationship and for you that she did not want to do. He gave me a great example. I won't go into the detail of the example. And I said to him after the example, sounds like you've got a great one. Um, and I feel good about it. Let me say this to you about laziness. If people have not put in the work on themselves, why would you waste time with them? Again, I'm talking to whole people and I'm talking to people who are working to become whole. Why would you waste time with people who have not put in the same work on themselves as you have put on yourself? See, I, we looked at, uh, if you looked at the last video that I did about making the list of 10 to 15 things and then becoming those things, it's something that I've taught for some time now, but it's something that I learned in therapy as well. Um, and just really a lot of self-work. Because I discovered that in order to be or receive the best version of others from others, I have to show up as the best, best version of myself. And so while you think, you know, 10 to 15 is a lot, my list has 45 things on it. I wish I had that journal with me uh, in this bag. It has 45 items on it. And that should suggest to all of us that there are levels to wholeness. There are levels to effort. There are levels to not being lazy. And so it is the effort that makes you attractive. It is not showing up perfect. It is not always doing the right things. It is not even changing or evolving. People tend to change over the span of a relationship or connection. But it is your willingness to make an effort that really makes you attractive. And I really want to break this down really quickly because, you know, you should not only, you should not date people who are not putting in the same amount of work on themselves as you are putting in on yourself. And I'm not talking about just physical work in terms of appearance and how we show up on social media. I'm talking about the inner work that makes you show up as whole and as complete of a person as possible. The fellas, listen to me. I'm going to start with you, as I always do. It doesn't matter how much money you make. It doesn't matter how tight your career is. It doesn't matter how many cars, clothes you have. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter um, any of those things. Most women might be pleased with what you have. They'll never be fully satisfied with it. I'm talking about financial things, surface things. What pleases a whole woman is seeing you being willing to put in the work on yourself. The reality of the matter is most of my clients are females, not because I pander. I'm good. As a whole man, I see beautiful women all the time. <laughs> um, most of my clients are females because most men don't want to do the work. We want to be in charge. We want to be first. We want the biggest piece of chicken, but we don't want to do the work. And what makes that problematic is you may show up with a great career or very successful in terms of your money or businesses or whatever you do. But over time, that relationship's going to hit a wall 
where you're going to have to make an adjustment in order for the relationship to continue. She's going to have to make an adjustment in order for the relationship to continue. That adjustment might mean things you have to do together. That adjustment might mean going to therapy and getting some counseling or help. But if you are not willing to do the work, eventually she's going to even get tired of your resources and she may even stay. She may stay for you. She may stay for the resources. She may stay for the kids. But if you're not willing to do the work, it's not going to be enough to sustain her and keep her spiritually and emotionally. Ladies, you're no exception. Ladies, understand that a whole man loves to look at a beautiful woman. Nothing wrong with that at all. A whole man loves an attractive lady. But a whole man also understands that what most fulfills him is a woman who is willing to also put in the work on herself. See, a whole man needs more than your body because he can get that anywhere. Um, I said it earlier in the video. I'll say it again. There are levels to wholeness. You know, as a man, I've never asked a woman to do something for me that I was not willing to first do for myself. So if I want you to make a list of 10 to 15 things and become those things, then my list has 45 on it. Because a man who leads has a higher level of expectations first for himself and then for everybody connected to him. Ladies, hear me. You've got to show up more than just looking physically beautiful. You have to also be willing to do the work. I can't tell you the number of women I've talked to as well and whole men that I've worked with who get incredibly frustrated with women who feel like their looks are enough, who feel like their beauty is enough, who feel like how they show up in the presence of someone is enough. And that stuff might be enough to attract. It might be enough to reel in. But for a whole man, it won't be enough to maintain. How you look won't be as important as what you've last read. How you look won't be as important as how well you treat your children if you have children. So you've got to make sure, ladies, also that you show up not lazy, but willing to do the work so that when the relationship or the marriage requires you to do the work, you don't just let yourself go. I hear that really quickly a lot. Um, women, you know, really get upset and say, well, you know, you know, my husband, my boyfriend's complaining because I'm gaining weight. I, you know, I had children and I can't, um, I can't be in the shape that I was 15 years ago. My metabolism is slowing down and I can't, can't do it. But listen, a whole man really won't care about that. A whole man, yes, wants you to look nice and does not want you to throw yourself away. But a whole man will be attracted to your effort because if you are making the effort to maintain yourself, it speaks to a larger level of work ethic that's critical for a relationship to last over time. No, the 20 year old shaped you may not be the 60 year old shaped you. But if your mentality is such of, well, I'm going to put in the effort on myself to maintain myself to the best of my ability, a whole man will see that and he will be incredibly attracted to your effort. The number one red flag you should look for in dating or if you're in a marriage, is laziness. I hope this made sense. If it did, do me a favor. I want you to type church in the comments with three R's. And then remember, you've got two jobs. One, be better today than what you were yesterday. And two, don't forget what I told you.